Hi guys, what's up? I hope that you guys are doing well. Guys, I'm super, super excited about today's reading, which is going to be all about the exact name of your soulmates, guys. So really excited about this reading. It's going to be really fun and I hope that you guys are going to enjoy this reading. So as you can see, to bring you that answer today, I have prepared six card pals. And they're all represented by different type of pen color. So I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of round down on today's reading. And then you get to pick the pal that resonates with you the most. So first up, we're starting here with group number one, which is represented by the purple pen. Group number two is represented by this beautiful pink pen. Pink. Did I say pink? I meant blue. <laughs> group number three, you're represented by the pink pen. Group number four, you're represented by the green pen. Group number five, you're represented by a lighter blue pen. And then last group number six, you're represented by the orange color pen. So guys, um, take a moment right now to go into your own Zen energy, clear your mind and focus upon the names that you might get of your future or your soulmates. Okay. And that could be including, that's like what I was about to say. That could be including, of course, your future spouse or partner or something like that. So guys, take a moment, as I said, to go into that energy and then pick one of these six pals that resonates with you the most. It's possible to pick multiple if that is what you feel and if you're drawn to more pals than one. Now guys, I just want to put also a little disclaimer in this video because listen up. I don't know all the names that are in the world, so don't panic if you guys don't see the name of the person you absolutely love and enjoy and you want to be in your life. This person can still be a soulmate of yours. I just don't or might not just know the names. And also another disclaimer is that, of course, uh, a name can be brought in English, but also can be, you know... Um, read in a different language in a different way so take that with you when you're reading the names okay so when you pick your pal go down below in the comment box or in the description box there i'll leave the time send it will bring you directly to your pal and for now guys keep listening to your heart to everything you do and keep in mind that all the readings that I bring on my channel are general readings, so only take what resonates with you. So I'm going to start now with pal number one, and all the other pals I'll see at the click of your timestamp. Hi there, group number one, so you're here because you're drawn to this purple pen. And of course the first pal. So first up, I'm going to read what the energy is from this person or from your soulmates. Maybe they're all a little bit similar, but we'll see that when I start the reading and then we're going to roll out the zodiac signs and then we're going to get into the names and the letters okay so you're really excited about this keep in mind the disclaimer that I said at the beginning of the video know that I don't know like all the names so I might not be getting all the names <laughs> that you guys want um, I might be getting more females or male name, but I'm just going to get what I get. So I hope that it gets good for you guys. And uh, lastly, just hope that you guys enjoy this reading. Okay, so let's start. So first up, I'm seeing here that your soulmate is a rose without thorns. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm seeing here, guys, that your soulmate is one who is a very soft, a loving, tender, and just sweet person in general. This is not a person that will ever, ever try to hurt you. Rose is actually the flower that represents love. So I'm getting here that this is a person who is going to love you very, very much. They're going to care very deeply for you. They're very nurturing. They're sometimes tend to be shy that's like what i'm getting but they're going to bring also a lot of peace a lot of sweetness into your life so for those of you guys who have been experiencing a negative relationship or toxic relationships or just negative feelings in general know that when you meet your soulmate or you meet more of your soulmates these are people that are going to bring so much peace in your life so much sweetness they're going to 
bring in that lemonade, bring in that juice, that soft side. And I'm also seeing these are people who are going to challenge you to become more vulnerable because I can see here if you have a past that you know a lot of things happen and you became more guarded and for some reason you're not allowing yourself to be vulnerable this person is really going to take down the layers to their layers to open you up this is a really gentle as i said person they're going to take their time with you um I'm not getting that this is a naive person because that might be like one thing that you guys might think like, oh, this person might be naive or they must not have like that much experience to still be that sweet and kind and loving throughout life. And I'm seeing here it might be that because this is a person who truly still believes in love, like no matter what, they might also hold some wire sign within them so think about pisces cancer scorpio um that's like what i'm getting with this um so emotions is really important to them they still believe in true love like no matter what happened i'm seeing here for a lot of you guys this person might have a true good example or they might have like a parent that already passed away and that they hold that like super dear to their heart like you know Sometimes when you experience something traumatic, it can go like both ways. And I feel like for this person, it has been like a really almost like a good effect. It has like a good effect upon this person. They took like that trauma and just kind of like turn it around into a lesson, into something that's really beautiful and meaningful. So yeah and definitely this is a person who are going to experience a lot of joy with you're going to have a lot of good times make a lot of good memories um and i also can feel like this is a person who is or who value intimacy very much this is a very romantic person so if you're into like you know lighting up the candlelights you know drawing a bat and even if you're not like i feel like this is a person who's going to learn or learn and teach you those kinds of things i'm seeing like this person really allowing you to take care of yourself and show you that taking care of yourself is going to be really important as well so yeah that is like all the amazing stuff that i'm getting like right away from this person they're really gentle really soft okay so let's now roll the dice and see what we're getting we're getting capricorn and pisces Taurus and Aries, and or uh, Taurus twice. Okay, so I'm going to grab my notebook and we're just going to start writing and see what we're going to come up with. So let's say here group number one. So first up, I'm getting Adam. Don't mind by the way my writing because when I tend to write fast, that can become like a little bit, you know, not readable. But I try to write beautifully for you guys. Um, I'm getting Alyssa. Alia. I see. I might also pronounce things differently, but I hope that you guys um, will understand that. Um, I have Aaron. We have Ashton, also Ashton, Ashton, we got Amber, uh, Azra, I've got Amar, A Adrian, Adrian, of course, we've got Aiden. I've also got Anita, Amor, that's such a beautiful name by the way, As Lynn, we've got Avery, okay, that's it, then I have Jake, John, James, Jacob, 
Chia Chia ear Chill Jasmine J J J J J J Yin J L wait J L Yin Okay Then I have Rashida also Rashid Roman Ross Ronalds Ro Ronalds Ronaldo Rodriguez Ricardo Richie Rain Reese Rebecca Ra Raj Ra Raj something like that <laughs> okay next up I have Mandy I have Melissa Maddie and Madeline Morris Menno Martin Mark Marco That's it Matt Okay Okay, let me turn out the page Then I have Elizabeth Eliza that might also be it. We've got Ellie. We've got Ava. But also Evan. Also Evelyn is also here. Let me write it out. Evelyn. Edward. E don't I don't know like like that. Okay. Then I have Zach. Zach Kurias as well. Saffron. Zane. Zoe, I think it's like that. Xander. Oh, I don't know what. Zay, 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 Yo. Okay. Okay. This is it. Group number one. I'm going to. Just kind of like gave you a chance here to look at the names if you can still read it. Let me put it like that. Like so. So you can guys can get like a little bit of time to kind of like check, recheck. Also, guys, keep in mind, as I said, like in some other languages, these might be you know spelled differently or pronounced differently or something like that but if you recognize maybe the base of the name 
the origin of the name, then yeah, that is um, your name as well. Okay, so last up, guys, I'm going to move to uh, grab some letters. The Q. The Y, the M, the K, the O, the Q, again, the E, let's see what else we have, the L, the Y, the Y again, and the B. Okay, so take a moment to see if you can find like any of the names. Uh, that might sound familiar to you guys and i hope in the end that this reading resonated with you and guys remember if it did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new here and you like what you see consider subscribing to my channel i would really love to have you around for now i want to thank you so much for being here with me today and i hope to see you in my next video bye hi there group number two and welcome to your reading so you're because you're drawn to this i think darker blue pen and of course the second pal so guys how it's going to work i'm just going to read a little bit on the character traits of your soulmate or soulmates and then we're going to roll out the dice to see which zodiac signs we're going to get out of that and then lastly we're going to write the names and draw some letters for your persons okay so let's start off with the uh, character traits or personality traits of this person so for that i have here the fertile void Okay, and we're getting here that, you know, the instant feeling that I'm getting from this card and as well as your person, I'm seeing like someone that will bloom later in life or maybe even needs to still go through a certain glow up. If you might know this person, you might see like that glow up is coming or is happening or something like that. But I definitely feel like this is someone is going to be blooming later on in life and i'm not seeing like much later like you know in your 30s or something but i am seeing 20 something between 20 and 30 i feel like this is a late bloomer this might not be like someone who from you know the day that they were like kind of like young they knew what they were going to do or something like that they might have even a lot of I would say like, I don't want to say like failures, but I mean to other people that might seem like as they're failing, as they're not successful. But I'm seeing here that the older this person gets, like, it's like a great wine. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, this more successful they will become. And if you meet this person kind of like later on in life, I feel that you'll be very, very, very impressed. And when this person will tell you about their past, it will all be like, you know, I didn't have like the best past. I didn't have like the most wonderful childhood. But, you know, I'm rocking it and I'm slaying it. Everything is going well for me. I feel like almost a kind of a George Clooney type of vibe. And I don't know like where this is coming from, but like that is the sense. So the only thing that I can picture like for myself what George Clooney will present to me is that you know when you age you also like like pretty good and um, maybe this is also a person who might want to settle more later on in life because they're just not going to be ready when they're young they might not just be ready or they might not like meet the right person like you know when they're young and I feel like the older they get the more they realize, the more they will lose like mm, all those things and then become like more focused upon family and stuff like that. That's like what I'm getting with this person, okay? Next up, I'm also seeing here um, a person that has a really huge commitment. I feel like when this person goes like for something, they definitely go for something. It's not, they have like a high value of loyalty and what they want to accomplish and also towards that person of where they want to commit that this person as soon as they make that decision internally that they want to go for you that is exactly what you can expect from this person like this is a really wow really focused and honest amazing person so yeah 
keep that in mind that's like what i'm getting from this person also i feel like a lot of people might not be able to truly um understand this person fully because this is a person i feel like doesn't allow everyone to get like in they're not they're not easy to read and a lot of people find this person to be a little bit complicated they might be a little bit complex but i feel like you guys like that complication you guys and not like complication in bad and toxic or anything like that but i'm feeling like complication as in you guys don't like to get bored or maybe you guys will be fascinated by this person and their past their journey and stuff like that i feel like those will be like things that you guys will be drawn to like you guys are interested in getting to know a person getting like to the deeper layer of a person and because you guys are not like so much superficial i feel like that is the reason that this person will come into your life and that it will work out so good for you guys okay so let's roll the dice and see what we're getting here so we're getting areas and satch we're getting here a uh, scorpio and aquarius and we have pisces and virgo okay so a lot of the things going all of the way so let me grab my notebook and then i'm going to I like sit down <laughs> and start writing keep in mind all the things that i said at the beginning of the videos i might pronounce the names differently you know i might write them differently um but go back to the origin of the names that you hear or that is you know common in your own culture and if you see that name that name um resonates with you then yeah you got that confirmation right here so i'm going to start off with the names that i'm getting so I've got here Gina, George, Gior, George, George, Georgette. We've got here Giovanni. We've got here Guillermo. We've got here Gerald, Gerald, Geraldine as well. Geraldine. Um, Gina. And Gitana. Okay, next up, we have Tom. Thomas. Tim, Timothy, Tino, Tinos, Tanisha. This is, by the way, a name that I heard. Like, um, I don't know. It's like there's something about this name. If this resonates with you guys, let me know in the comment box down below. There's something about this name. I don't know, like, why, but this name seems to be important. I don't know, like, I want to write, like, a heart. Okay, Tanisha. Uh, we've got Tara. We've got Tass. We've got Tyron. Okay, that's it for the T. Getting Nina. Naime. Naime. Naomi. Nora. Nick. 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 We've got Nikki. We've got Neil, We've got Nicole, we've got Nathaniel, we've got Norman, well, that's a name that I like, do not hear that much, Norman, we've got Nate, we've got 
got Nigel, got Noor, we've got Nathan. Okay, that's it. And we have Jessica, of course, Jesse, Jess, all those things. Then I've got Jordan, Jor Jordi as well. I've got Jer Jer Remy, Johan, Jeremiah might be as well. Josh, Joshua, Jared, Jenna, G, Jason, Jennifer, Julio, Julius. Jose, Jose, Jax, Justin, you kind of like a Julian as well. Okay, so that is one. I'm gonna pick up my card. And then we're going to continue on this side. We have Isadora. We've got Isa, Isabella, Isabel, I and mean, whatever uh, resonates with you guys. I've got I, I sick, I sick, Isaac. <laughs> Um, I fan Ivana I ma nu well Isra Indi I then Ooh, I've never heard of this one. I met. Okay, that is it. Then we have the S Samir. That's like what I'm getting. Senna. Sabrina. Ooh, Sebastian. Ooh, this one is fast. Summer. CC Samuel Santiago Shanti Chantel as well is what I'm getting Simon Sarah Sean And Sean, like the way you want to write it. That's like what I'm getting. We have Katrina. So guys, I don't know what happened, but for some reason the video just stopped recording. So um, the names that I got after Katrina are Cassandra, Christopher, Cindy, Cohen, Coco, Caleb. Cesar, Clark, Connor, Curtis, Clyde, Chloe, Cleo, Courtney, Clifford, and Charles. And then I also picked some letters for you guys, which were the E, the Q, the A, the J, the U, the O, the A, another G, oh sorry, no, that's a T an N, an I, and a D. So 
these are the letters that I picked out for you guys. So group number two, I hope that this reading um, resonates with you. I apologize for the interruption and the technical difficulty that I had during this recording, but I hope that you guys um, made it to the end of this video. And if you like what you saw, please hit that like button and subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. For now, thank you so much for your time and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye. Hi there, Group Number 3, so you're here because you're drawn to this beautiful pink pen and of course the third pal. So guys, the way that I'm going to do this reading is we're going to start off with this card which is representing their personality and um, maybe give me a little bit of insight about your soulmate or soulmates and then we're going to roll out the zodiacs that dies for this person. And then I'm going to proceed with writing down the names and getting some letters for your soulmates. Okay, so really excited about this reading. Hope that you guys are as well. So let's start off with the card. So I'm seeing here that your soulmate, wow, look at this, look at this heart, beautiful. I'm feeling that more than so in this group, your soulmate, um, even though it's going to be like your person, your all, it is going to be a deep, deep, deep friendship. I'm feeling like you guys just will have like this supernatural flow with each other that it does feel like you kind of like known this person for forever and ever that you've met countless lifetimes before. I feel like this is a person that as soon as you meet them, there will be like an instant connection with this person or throughout like the first conversation, it will be like so, so deeply. And if we're talking about like your future spouse or anything like that, or, you know, a partner, then I feel like there is a deep, deep understanding about or knowing about this person. I feel like you guys, aside from this whole romantic emotion and feelings, and those will be absolutely there, but I'm feeling like more so that this person just instantly will connect with you in such a deeper level that it will make you feel so comfortable being just like yourself. And you don't get to do that like with everyone. Like, you know, it's not easy to just relax and completely be exactly who you are with the good and the bad, the everything to someone and I feel like that is this person. I feel like most and foremost and anything, this person is going to be your best friend. Um, and there's going to be a deep, deep connection. I feel like there are so, even guys, if you happen, and this kind of like come up right now to me, but even if you guys happen to split or, you know, if your relationship doesn't happen to last forever, I feel like it will be something that will last forever you kind of like get what i'm saying like you your bond will last like the whole lifetime that's like what i'm getting with this person and i'm also seeing oh look at this promise promise to stay together like this deep promise for lifetimes so i feel like with your soulmates you more have like a huge bond a deep connection and i feel like this is a person, once they come into your life, you'll fall completely in love with them. There's someone I feel who is very solid. They really have something to offer. I also feel like they they are very smart. They're very wise. Um, I'm also getting like a little bit of a giddy energy, a fun energy, maybe also charming. Um, I feel like you guys will have like a lot of fun together, like uh, goofing around, um, just in a way that feels good to you guys. But I definitely feel like kind of like having a good time, being able to go back to that childlike emotions, like being completely in love, being like giddy, just being happy, and just having that bubble of romance and of love together. That's like, a, that's like what I'm getting from this person. Overall, I'm getting that this person is a really charming person. They're very good looking. Um, I feel a little bit of a playful energy as well with this person. So yeah, if you are a lot into that playfulness and stuff, I feel like that this person will definitely give you that. 
um, and they really have like their heart in the right place. They might come off a little bit as a player or as someone who doesn't take things seriously at first, but once you get to know them, you'll be like completely surprised on how opposite they are of the first impression that people get of them. So that might be that they have, that they're like super handsome and cute and attractive and that's a, the reason why people categorize them as being, you know, someone who plays or as someone who, I don't know, likes to, you know, fool people or something like that. Um, but I'm definitely seeing here that they're not that. They're absolutely not that. But you have to get to know them to see that. Yeah, that's like what I'm getting for your person. So let's roll out the dice to see what we're having here. We have Gemini. So this is a person, as I said, very charismatic. They're good with their words. They know what they want to say and they're very smart as well. We have Taurus, which indicates that they are very, you know, they're very stable, solid people. We have Sag, we have Cancer, we have Pisces and Leo. A Leo, especially with that charming um and full of confidence type of energy that is coming from that leo okay so next up i'm just going to write down the names that i'm getting for this person so we're getting here about this is a beautiful pink color love it um so group number three what names am um, i getting for you so we're starting with the i i i mara I Vina Ines Ivan and Ivy. Next up, we have D, we have Daron, Danielle. Oh, Daniel as well. Daniela, Danny, oh, Danny, I'll write that down, Don, Don, Nick, Daisy, Dafina, Dario, David, Dion, Dean, Damien, Dax, Dax, Daxton. What are these in this pal? We have Derek. Dawson, Dylan, smoking these, <laughs> Deanna, Deanna, Deano, Deacon, Dana, Dami, Dami, Daphne. Desiree, Desiree, Jusha. Oh, okay. That's that's for the D guys. <laughs> A lot of these. Okay, then I'm getting Leo, Eliza, Liam. Hello, you know, Lola, Luna, Luz, Leandro, Leandro, Lily, Lily Rose, Layla, Leon, Leon. Lucas, 
Quarters as well as Luke. Louise. Lennon. Is that it? London. Lorenzo. Wow, a lot of L. Okay. Let's keep going. Do we have? Oh, yeah. Liz Lucille. Lexi. Lex. Oh, Lex, Lexi. <laughs> I can stop there. Like my hand wanted to say Alex. <laughs> Leslie. Lin Linda. Lance. Lance Scott. Leona. Leo Leona. Levi Le Levy. Okay, and Lucinda. Okay, like, should I just like keep writing here? I'm just going to a new page. Okay, let's see, what else do we have? We have Madeline. Matthew Micah Maria Melody Maxwell Max Me Nerva Maya Moses Ma Magdalena and Magda. That's also one that I'm getting. Mariana, Mariana, Mario. Marcello as well. Marcello. Oh my god. Why did I do that there? <laughs> um Marina Maddox Me Rick Mouse. Michael. Okay. Next we got Harper. Harry. Hope. Harlow. Hunter. Haxor, Helen, Hugh, Hugo, Harold, Heather, Ham Hampton Hussein Hendrick Howard Okay, that's it. Then I have a big tour. Victoria, Victoria as well. Vanessa. Vincent. Finney. 
Vivian. Violet. Veronique. Okay. That is it for you, group number three for the names. Let me put it like that so you guys can still see the names. And then next up, I'm just going to pick some a letter for you guys to see what else. Ooh, a lot came up, guys. So we have the X, the W. What else do we have? The L, the H, the S, P, B, C, Y, D, R, and T. Okay, so this must be like kind of like all initials or something like that because we ain't got like something to connect them with. So these are the letters that I got for you guys. Group number three, I hope that this reading overall resonated with you. If it did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you guys are new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing to my channel. I would really love to have you around. For now, thank you so much for your time and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Hi there, good number four and welcome to your reading. So you're here because you're drawn to this beautiful green pen. And of course the Ford Pal. So a little round down this reading, I'm just going to start off with this card, which is going to talk about their personality and we can get more insight into your person. And then next up, I'm going to roll out the dice to see which zodiac sign might represent this person. And then I'm going to move on to writing down the names. And lastly, we're going to draw out some letters and see if anything comes up for you guys, okay? So let's start off with the cards. So the first here that I have, oh wow, look at this. Mm, look at this lovely connection. I feel like you guys, this person, you got, I will say like what I'm just like getting. There's going to be a huge sexual energy between you guys. That's like the first thing that I just can't like get around. But at the same time, I feel like it might be very, very innocent. I'm also seeing here that for maybe a majority of you guys, because of your culture or belief, you might be still a virgin. So um, I'm seeing here that that might be something that, you know, you guys will come to or this person will be the first one for you. Like this soulmate will be the first one of which you will experience the intimate intimacy with or you know get to that second base so um i'm feeling something that's really really romantic and really pure here and i feel like um this is a person who you will have a deep deep connection with now also i will just want to say like to go back a little bit if you're not like in that phase that you could you know lose your virginity it almost seems like it has been a really long time before someone could like bring you to that point or maybe you being for a long time single before meeting this soulmate and this person coming into your life something like that but i definitely can see here something that's very sweet and honest and i'm also seeing here a little bit i don't know if it's like really this drawing yeah i'm seeing here shells and with that i'm also seeing here that um this person might be a cancer that's like the first thing that i'm also getting um so i feel like your a relationship with this person will be very very passionate i feel maybe you guys find it really important to be sexual with each other or that has crossed your mind of some of you guys might have a really high libido within this group and I feel that will be matched. If that re doesn't resonate with you, it will resonate on a different level. So keep in mind that, you know, I'm mentioning everything because this is a general reading, but only take, of course, what resonates with you. I'm also here getting that uh, this person really loves the beach. This person might live near the beach. This person might have a connection with the beach or they might have a water sign zodiac. Um, as we're also talking about cancer, that is also one of the things that I'm getting. But very pure, very honest. Um, but there is something that's also very sexual about them. 
um so i'm getting also that this person might be very attractive or vice versa of course that you'll find this person very attractive there is a huge chemistry between you guys like it's going like deeper than deep i'm also getting maybe in the beginning when you guys meet because this connection is super super intense it might be a little bit of a too much for both of you you might be overwhelmed with that type of energy especially if you never you know um, experienced that before and I feel like maybe you've been taking a bag a little bit in the beginning maybe both of you will be that but the urge to be together is going to be extremely extremely there so I feel like almost you guys are going to be magnetized or you know drawn as a magnet towards this person like there is nothing that could like stop you guys from coming together so i feel like there is a really huge force within this group that will bring you two together that's like the energy that i'm getting from this i wanted to get maybe a little bit more character traits of this person but it's for all like i'm like getting more a sense of the energetic uh, energies that will be around this relationship or that that might be something that's more important than maybe the traits within this group so i'm sorry for that what i am getting is yeah this person will have a great body or something like that or something that you find really attractive because the sexual energy will be ooh, you know off the charts here so let's get that out there so let me roll the dice to see what zodiac signs are coming up so we have a double capricorn we have aquarius and leo and Aquarius and Taurus again. Okay, so let me move now to the notes. And let's start writing the name. Let me kind of like get my seed and let me start with group number four, what I'm receiving for you guys with names. Now keep in mind, I might write them differently, I might pronounce them differently, but keep in mind that the origin of the name that I'm going to write, those are important as well okay um, because we do have different culture and thoughts and, and so forth within this bear with me guys okay so first up we're starting here with patrick oh i wanted to write really beautiful so let me try again patrick <laughs> um par par oh patricia okay Car, Parker, Paige, Phoebe, Paxton, Pan, Panton, Peyton, Panton, Peyton. Pablo, Patience, Philip, Prince, Pauline, Priscilla, Polly, Perry, Pascal. Okay, next. Oliver, Olive, Ollie, Owen. Or or son or son, something like that. Or Lind, Otis, Orin. Sounds so familiar. Like I've wrote that before. Orin. Okay. <laughs> Otto. Otto. Otis, O'Neill, O'Neill, 
Owen. I'm just gonna like Owen again. And Owen, okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know what's happening today with my camera, but this is the second time that it's happened during this reading. I really apologize for that, but my camera just, I don't know when it just kind of like stopped working, but I have to redo it and I just can't like hear the names again. So I really apologize for that, but I have the names for you. So um, we left up with Owen and i'm going to read all the names that i got for you guys and there are a lot so i hope that you're ready for the names so i've got orphelia orlin then we moved on to the k we've got here kevin carmen kiki k kian kian then we have coffee we have Krishna, we have Kyren, we have Kiara, we have King, we have Kimberly, we have Kaylee, Kian, we have Corey, we have Casey, Cody, and Kristen. Then I moved on to the letter C, which got me corner. Charlotte, Chavez, Cisco, um, Constantine, Chandler, Chandler, Carter, Claire, Cole, Chase, Clay, Clayton, Collis, Cal, Callum, Crew, and Cash. Next up, I had the B. Ben, Benjamin, Blake, Brooks, Brandon, Bashir, um, Be Beckett, <laughs> Bentley, Braden, Brian, Lou, Bruce, Bruno, Bailey, Bryant, um, Brody, Bill, Billy, and then we've got Brad. I just can't even like read my own. Bob. This was Bob, yeah. Barry, Bianca, Banner, and Blaine. Oh my gosh, like reading, reading my own handwriting, guys. <laughs> Having trouble with that, sorry. Then I've got Stephen, Sky Skyler, Sergio, Selena, Santoni, Slate, Set, Saul, Sam, Salvador, Sydney, Stephen, uh, sorry, Stefan, Stacy, Susan, Silvio, and Silver. Okay, I really apologize that you guys weren't there when I was writing, and that's like when I speak out the names because I get them like so clear. So I'm sorry if I was having just a little bit of trouble with my own handwriting there, but. I hope that you guys will bear with me throughout this video. Okay, so next up, I have some letters for you guys that might represent the initials or names we might have missed. So we have the E, the Y, the R, the G, the L. Why do we have a seven in there? We have an S, we have a B, and we have an X. So these are the initials or names that might have not turn up within the reading but that might still be relevant for your soulmates so guys i hope that this reading resonated with you if it did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new here and you like what you see consider subscribing to my channel i would really love to have you around for now thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye hi there group number five so you're here because you're drawn to the light blue pen this one and of course the fifth pal so guys a little rundown on how it's going to work is i'm going to give you first and character character trait or personality 
like trait about this person throughout this card and next up i'm going to roll out these zodiac dice to see which zodiacs uh this could be and then next up i'm going to move on to the names and then i'm going to finish up with some letters to make it a complete reading for you okay so group number five i hope you're ready for your reading super excited to start so let's dive into the first card so first up, I have the Rose Garden representing the person that will come to you, your soulmate. So I'm seeing here, it's overall a very almost innocent type of relationship. I feel that this relationship will be something that is very magical and it will happen very naturally. If in the past you were someone who needed maybe to work hard to get someone's attention or nothing seemed to kind of like come along or you were own, uh, always in the bad luck or maybe someone was only always taken or you vice versa or something like that, this is going to be something that kind of like will land on your lap like without you even have to try or do something everything will kind of like flow naturally with this person so if you have like any doubts in your mind about your upcoming or your soulmate your true love relationship it will be something that will happen naturally i feel like you guys will both feel like at ease and well, kind of like feel like this is it this is like the true thing and i feel with this person loyalty and honesty is something that they really find to be very very important i wouldn't find it strange if they work like within a field that this is well represented um but they really find it to be very um, important to be honest towards each other i feel that because maybe in the past they have some experiences that they're not happy about and of course you take that with you and as an experience um to your next relationship and it doesn't mean that they're not open or something like that but it means that they're very careful to who they truly let in and once they do um, they trust you with a whole heart, so they find it really important for the other party to, you know, be honest as well and just speak your mind. In a way, I'm also seeing that this is a person who is straightforward. They don't like to BS around, but they're not someone who's straightforward in a very a harsh way. I'm not seeing here like someone like the king of sword or something. I feel like this is someone who can truly speak out throughout their emotions and they truly um, are empathic. I feel like almost here like I want to say like the queen of cups, like someone who's very nurturing, who um, has like the heart in the right place, um, who carries that well-nurtured, divine, feminine energy and are able to translate their emotions into positive words or even like in words, which is for so many still a difficult thing. And I see here that it's someone who's very aware of their emotions and can translate that pretty good. So someone who can communicate pretty well. I'm also seeing here that you guys will get really deep conversation. This is someone who wants to get really in-depth. Um... I'm also seeing here someone who might be very family oriented so expect that maybe when you start dating this person talking about marriage children etc will be like on the table and i don't feel that it matters if you kind of like young or you know more further down along on your journey in love but i definitely feel here that this is a person when you meet Maybe that this is a person ready to start their family, to start building towards that. Even if they might be like in their 20s or they might be even a teenager, um, they have that dream to have like their family life, you know, the picture as they, they have it. Like that is something that's really sacred to them. I also see here that it's someone who... Um, as I said, like, it's a family person. So I see here that they put a lot of effort into um, balancing the work-life combination. It's really important for them to have a job and to be able to provide for their family, for, you know, uh, you maybe as their soulmate. You just being there, you're the rock and they're going to be your rock as well. Those are the things that I'm seeing here. 
and we also have here be gentle with yourself so as i said like this is a very nurturing person and i'm seeing here that if you have like any insecurities i'm seeing here some maybe some of you guys are struggling with weight or are struggling with something that you guys want to maybe improve or get better at maybe you have like some toxic um indulgence you might say and it doesn't matter because we might all have that in a certain way but i'm seeing here that being with this person you're going to get like more control about that because you're going to regulate your emotions better this person is going to help you regulate that and help you find that balance that you've been seeking for and at the same time make you feel very wanted and very beautiful and gorgeous and everything so i'm feeling this is going to be a very healing relationship for you as well group number five so let's roll out the dice to see what zodiac signs i might be talking about so we have here for your girl and we have Aries. so very passionate fire fiery we have gemini so as well someone who's very intelligent and i feel like that is super needed when um if you're able to translate emotions into words you have to be you know super empathic um you have to high, have a high eq for that so that is you know that's pretty good we have cancer and capricorn so i'm going to move now to the writing part i'm going to sit down guys i did have some difficulties with the video today i don't know like what's going on but in a way it kind of like stops so if it does happen i hope it doesn't but if it does i will read the names that i get um but i hope that it doesn't happen because i don't know what's going on with this camera but let's let's start guys let's start okay so guys keep in mind that uh group number five that all the names that I might be getting, um, they might sound differently, I might write them differently, but if the origin is something that you recognize in your own culture, uh, then yes, take that as a sign, okay? So let's start. So first up, I have here Alex, Alexander, Andrew, Ace, Arthur, mm. Alejandro, Andres, Arman, Armani, Anna, Allison. Alonzo, Alfonso, Alfonso as well, Amir, Arjun, Ahmed, Ahmed, Alfred, Alfredo, Axe, Andreas, Ari Ariana, Amir. That's it for the A. Next up, I have Ilias, A Emil. Esteban Addison Addison Estrella Ernesto Ernesto Eleanor Eugene Eunice, Elton, Ella, Eliana, Emily, Emily, 
Esmeralda Enrique Enrico That's it Elijah Okay We have Walter Wesley Willow William William White Wilson Weston Wolf Wolfgang West Winnie Will Wilma Winter and that's it. Okay, next up I have Gabriella. Gustav, Gisa, Chio, Gwyneth. I think I saw this one in another poll as well. So that might be the reason because you might have, if this happens to you, that your soulmate might soulmates might be split in different groups so Gwyneth um what else do we have Gladys Gail this is your part one Gail we have Griffin Germaine Gray Graham Geneve Gunter Okay and Then we have Zephyr Zephyr Sio Mara Zayo Zayo. I hope I write it that way. And then I have Yusuf. I have Yunis. I have Jara. Janice. I have Yuki. I have Joshmino, we've got Joni, I've got Eves, I've got Yun, I'm also hearing Young, Young Chung, but okay, and I'm hearing Yaelin. But I don't know, I, I don't know, like, that's like what I'm hearing. Yao Chung, let me put it like right there. You guys can read it. Okay. And then I have Uriel, Uma, and Uma. Okay. So these are the names that I have for you. Group number five. You put it like right there. I hope that it resonated with you. The last thing I'm going to do is just pick up some uh, letters for you. Maybe I didn't mention some things, and you know, we could still get them in your letters here. So let's see what we're having here for you. So we've got a J, the L, the T, a 
another T, the R, the Z, the Y, the A, the X, and the D. So this might be their initials, the name, or something like that. So take a moment to look at that. So group number five, this was your reading, and I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing to my channel. I would really love to have you around. For now, group number five, I thank you for being here, for giving me your time, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! Hi there, group number six. So you're here because you're drawn to this beautiful orange pen. And of course, the last pal, pal six. So I hope that you're ready for your reading. So I'm just going to tell you guys how I'm going to do this reading. So first up, I'm going to start off with this card, which is going card, card, <laughs> which is going to tell me a little bit about their personality, their traits, and maybe how your relationship is going to be like, or a little bit about your relationship in general. Then I'm going to move on to the zodiac dice, which will. Uh, show us what type of person um, it might be with our zodiac signs and then I'm going to move on to writing the names and at last we're going to give you some letters maybe to make certain other names out of it or their initials okay so I hope that you guys are ready for this let's hop into this reading wow so first up I'm seeing here rainbow so within this group I might feel that maybe for some of you guys and it doesn't matter just take what resonates with you but maybe that we have you know some gay people or some people from the lgbt community within this so yeah that is just like what i'm getting first off so that might be the relationship or you might be dealing with these type of emotions and if you're doubting yourself if you're doubting your um love interest it could be that this person is going to help you to come out of the closet or this is going to be like the perfect relationship for you uh, regarding to that if you don't i mean if you're completely straight that's okay um it's just mean that i'm seeing this as well so yeah, I'm just going to tell you guys as I'm seeing it. Okay, so that is the first thing that mm, I'm seeing here. I'm seeing also here after the rain, several lining, relief, hope, mercy, it's over acceptance. And it's exactly that part, acceptance. I'm just like feeling like this person is someone who um, worked really hard to maybe, maybe this is a person that I didn't kind of like completely feel at home and they needed really a lot of time to adjust within this role to find their role so one i might be feeling like this might be someone like you know from another place literally from another place they might feel like they're not quite at home yet maybe you do as well and that might be like the thing that you guys connect over um it could also be that you might see like things upon their outer traits maybe you know there some some type of people that not aren't from here they might be like really really blonde or they might have like some really pale skin or there might be like something that just is so angelic about them or that is so fairy like about them or that is so you know all those things so i'm getting like to that like it it might almost seem as if they are uh, a fairy tail character some type of that because i'm seeing here that they might not belong here and maybe you don't as well so as i said you might connect through that um i'm seeing here that um this might be an older person for some of you guys this might be that uh, there is an age gap or that this person is really really matured because of all the experiences that this person has gone through because i can feel that life hasn't been easy upon this person and i don't feel it really applies to the materialistic side of of you know everything i'm feeling really emotionally so it could be that this person was bullied in the past or that there is something that just didn't make it super easy for them to you know accept who they truly are and i just saw kind of like a video here in in the netherlands and i found it like so heartbreaking it was kind of like a little girl that was talking about just being bullied because she has afro hair right and just thinking about it it just makes me cry just a little bit but she was being bullied and she just couldn't um the other kids just wouldn't let her play along because they 
they said she looked like a boy because she has afro hair and i don't know like why i'm bringing this up but i feel like i have to share it with this group but i'm i'm feeling like that might be one of the things but still this girl was a very she had like really strong perseverance right she was like mm, i don't care you know it hurts me but when i wake up in the morning i go to my mirror and i i say that i'm beautiful and i'm gorgeous and that is okay and maybe when i get older i'll be more confident and i won't think about these things that much and i feel like that is this person this person really is someone who needed to be strong for themselves because no one was even if they had like great parents or something sometimes it's like not enough you need to be strong for yourself right that power needs to come from within and i can feel like that is this person it's someone who is really resilient through like everything this person has real power and um if they're not there yet they're growing and they're moving into that so that is really really special what i'm feeling here from this person also i feel like it's almost like they have here a greater purpose on earth especially if they if they aren't from here i feel like they have a purpose whether that is to allow other people to accept themselves or to make a difference or to change something within society that people are so um, conservative about. These people are here to bring a different dynamic, to start out others. And I feel like that will be maybe your mission as well together. I feel this relationship just will serve a higher good instead of, you know, being a great relationship on its own and finding um companionship and finding someone who you can truly rely upon and feel safe i feel like feeling safe is really important here for both of you guys like feeling safe with each other maybe you are someone who didn't feel safe as well maybe you were born into an unsafe environment and you didn't get that and when this with this person you're going to absolutely feel safe very beautiful okay so let's move on now to the dice and see what we're going to get so we have the Sag and we have Aquarius so it's a also a very friendly person they might be a little bit as I said like quirky awkward something like that they might also be a little bit nerdy those are the things that I'm getting and you might find them in a books um, reading or just you know doing their research and stuff like that we have Cancer we have Scorpio and we have um, Aquarius and Scorpio again. So yeah, a lot of water, a lot of water. Okay, so now I'm going to sit down and I'm going to start writing the names. So guys, I just want to make a quick note here <laughs> um, because my camera just stopped recording in two readings. I hope that it doesn't do that again. If so, I'll be reading all the names after because, um, you know, when I get the names, I have to keep writing. So I hope that my camera works. <laughs> Um, and last to keep in mind that we might have a culture difference here. So take the names as resonates with you. Don't mind how I spell them or how I say them. Um, yeah, just, just keep that in mind. Okay. So let me just start here. So we have group number six. What do we have for you? Okay. So we're starting with M. We're starting with Milan. We have Milo. We have Madhu. We have Mo Mohammed. Masood. Manish. Manisha. Manolo Mar Markel Mia Getting also Marcus Marley Mackenzie Michelle, Matilda, Matilda, 
MAC. Mitchell. Mike. Mahir. Ooh, a lot of M's. Mar Nick. Marcel. Okay, that's it. Then I'm getting Ryan. Rowan. Richard. Robert. Robert, oh, like, <laughs> Roberto as well, but I already read, wrote in the O. We've got Riley. Russell. Roy. Ray. Raymond. Rachel. Raph. Raphael. Ramon. Randy. Roxanne. Vox. Ralph. Ruby. Rari, Rico, Rogue, Rocky, River, a lot of arts, Robin. Okay, that's it. Moving on to Ibrahim, Ifor, Ifori, Ifor, Ifori, Alona, Ilona, Iram, Ivan. Okay, that's it. Let me just check. Everything is working. Okay, continuing. I have Tanner, Titan, Talia, Tobias. Toby, Tia, Tristan, Tony, Terry, Teddy, Turner, Tatiana, Tia, Theodore, Theodora, Theodore, Theodora, everything like that. Natalia, we've got Tiff, Tiff. Fanny, Trevor, we have Quentin, K, 
Nikita Queen. Uh -huh. Can it? Can it? Cow. Kira. Kent. Khalil. Kyron. Next up, I have Faye, Faye, or Faye, something like that. Francisco, but also Francesca. I have Frank, Franco. I have Finn. Francis I have Ford So there was a little book running around in the paper Sorry for that We have Franklin Frank, Frank Franklin Clean. Okay, something like that. Fabian. Fabian. Fabiano. Italiano. <laughs> We've got Fatima. We've got Felicity. We've got Fred. We've got Fitz, we've got Ferris, I've got, no, that's it. These are the names that I have for you, group number six. I hope that they resonate with you a little bit. I'm going to put them right here so you can look at them. So last is I said I'm going to pick out some letters for you guys and maybe not all the names came up and I just want to give you guys a little bit more to go by. So I have here the N, we have the S, double S, we have the B. I'm seeing you here in BA, so maybe this person loves basketball. It's like one of the things that I'm seeing here. The Q, the M, and the E. So, group number six, this was your reading, and I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing to my channel. I would really love to have you around. For now, thank you so much for your time, and I hope to see you in my next video.